Hello and welcome to our channel. I'm Musab from Dynetic Innovations. Today I'm very excited to bring you a comprehensive guide of setting up the high target V30 Plus DNS SRTK system and conducting a connectivity test with the DJI Matrice 350 RTK drone. But before we dive into the details, we want to emphasize that we are proud to be an official dealer of high target product. This means that not only are you getting expert guidance on setup and usage, but you also have the assurance of genuine product and reliable support every step of the way. Let's take a moment to familiarize ourselves with the high target V30 Plus DNSS RTK system. This powerful tool is engineered for precise positioning and surveying tasks, making it an indispensable asset in various industries. And that's a wrap for the unboxing the high target V30 Plus DNSS RTK system. We have provided an overview of the main component and highlighted some key features. Stay tuned as we dive into the set setup process and connectivity test with the DJI Matrice 350 RTK drone in the next segment of our video. Now that we have unboxed the high target V30 Plus DNSS RTK system, it's time to power it on and get ready for setup. But before I want to let you know that we will be heading outside because we need a clear signal to begin the process of connecting the V30 DNSS base station with the DJI Matrice 350 RTK drone. All right, now that we are outside and have a clear view of the sky, let's begin the setup process. Uh, the first step is to insert a SIM card into the V30 Plus DNSS RTK system. You might wonder why we are using a SIM card to connect the base station with the internet. Here, we insert the SIM card into the V30 Plus. Here, we need to set up DNSS RTK. Well, sometimes we need to deploy the V30 Plus DNSS RTK base station in remote area where there is no Wi-Fi connection available. In such cases, we rely on cellular data to establish an internet connection, allowing us to access correction data and other essential services. As the v V30 is to start connect here. We need to make a new project. We'll make it anything like uh, new. We will say new, okay? Again, we will make new test and make it test. Test. We will choose the project projection here UTM WJS 84 zone 40 north is in UAE. Okay, then okay. Here we'll go to the device here and to know what is the device what is like this to connect the just like this we connect the iHunt 55 remote controller with the V30 plus base station go to base here we will choose internal DSM because we use uh, the same card into the V30 plus base station and uh, here we will choose set by average because we we don't have a, a noun point here we don't have a noun coordinate point We'll use as a set by average. 
if you have a noun control point we use this set by point okay here we will choose the name and we will choose the target height uh, this is for test just for test so, uh, we will not insert the target height uh, here if we choose the pool here we choose the we put the v30 plus dnss on the pool if you put it in the tripod you will choose slant okay let's go here we will choose for correction type we will choose rtcm for server we will choose course okay as uh, the v30 plus base station boots up and start a curing kps signal let me take a moment to explain what course and rtcm protocol are course are continuous operating reference station are a station that continuously acquire gps signal without interruption they store uh, sometimes and sometimes process this data transmitting it through over receiver like the DJI Matrix 350 RTK drone and the RTCM protocols which stand for Radio Technical Commission for Maritime Services serve as the backbone for GNSS data exchange between the base station and drone this ensures seamless communication and precise alignment here we will choose L RTCM here and also server we will choose course okay and for IP and port and mount point we have we will insert this for to connect the V30 plus we will insert this data and this information Board, we will choose two one two one zero one and we will here for APN we will choose username. And password and for password. We will choose here. Let's do OK and then set. When you see indicator like this. Here the internet V30 plus is connected with the internet. Now let's power on the RC plus remote controller and ensure there is Wi-Fi coverage. Here to start the RC plus, we need to link the RC plus with the drone. So let's power on the DJI matrix. 350 RTK. Press and press and hold. Okay. Let's 
let's start with the connect the RC plus with the drone press and hold aircraft will bless press and hold five seconds to connect the RC plus with the drone the linking is complete okay we will create a mission and utilize custom network RTK create route area route from here we will custom network we will custom network RTK and we will put for NTRIB address and port and account and password mount point about NT RIP address the NT RIP which means networked transport of RTCM via internet protocol and the NT RIP allow the drone to accept correction over the internet and in all the following field we will set them up with uh, the same setting with the v30 plus dnss rtk here for ntrip we will insert we will insert ntrip address like the same setup we will use it with the v30 also we use the port we use it with the V30 plus RTK 2101 and for the account we'll use the same account we use it with the V30 for password we'll use the same password like we use it with the V30 also For the mount point, we will use the serial number for the V30 GNSS RTK. So we will use it for the mount point. Yeah, I have. And I choose save. After that, we will see RTK here is connected and RTK data in use from the V30 GNSS RTK and after saving all the setup and connecting we will see the aircraft RTK and custom RTK data in use like we, we see it we will see also here the red card that means the RTK fixed here the RTK is fixed and we are ready to fly and when you open the custom network RTK you will see here you will see the RTK data from the V30 GNSS RTK base station used as a reference to correct the raw data collected by the Matrice 350 RTK drone, ensuring precise positioning for mapping, surveying, and navigation tasks. If you have any questions or need help for the purchase, just give us a call, email us, or visit our website dynatic.ae. Subscribe to our channel to discover and learn more about drones and surveying equipment thank you for watching see you in the next video